The news out there all over the place is crazy lately. We hear Bitcoin, oh, it's approved. It's not approved. It's hacked. It's not hacked. Everything we're hearing when it comes to like the announcements and everything else, head scratcher. But a lot of movement out there. You're seeing prices moving about a 10% swing. And at the end of the day, it leads us to one thing. Eventually, the spot ETF for Bitcoin will be approved. And it may even be approved by the time you're watching this video. Who knows? But I will say this. It was a wild run. And if it was, I'm sure it's, you know, it wasn't going to be a sell the news kind of thing. Is it going to be a pump? We don't know yet, but I'm watching. But this is the video where we talk about the best stocks to buy now. That's right, folks. Family, if you got a, a stock that you want me to go ahead and run technical analysis on, I do these videos every couple of them because I do multiple videos a day, counting the live streams, usually three a day. So put in the comments what stock do you believe has a great chance to run? I'm going to do the technical analysis on it for you. Let you know if I believe it is the best stock to buy now or if we should be shorting it, which sometimes I do get in there and short some of them. And I use the bread recipe, which we have been absolutely dominating with. I continue to show you in the live streams how we are making a lot of money every single day using that. Uh, no, almost every single day. I think we missed two or three days out of 25. So 20 something in three, roughly, I think we're doing well. So if you haven't got over to the stock mode course, code cash, C-A-S-H, limited time coupon. I heard everybody was asking for a break. So we're doing a break. Even though we updated it, uh, it's now we have the update with some of the options from stock uh, Dr. Stock in there, as well as all the things I'm going to be adding in there. This course is absolutely huge. Lifetime access to the course, lifetime access to the course's Discord. Take advantage of today. And of course, if you haven't joined to follow my new $100,000 aggressive portfolio, I would highly recommend it, man. We are doing well already. Uh, that's the Stockmo Patreon down below. And if you want all four of us, you got me, Larry, Josh, and Keenan in one spot. You can get our alerts over there. Come on over and get your free stocks from Moomoo down below. Now, this is what I like to do. This is good stuff. We're coming in here, and I'm going to blow this up a little bit. And I like this video. This video gives us the best stocks to buy now, which is always my favorite. So let's go ahead and start with these best stocks to buy now. Viewers, viewers call here, and we'll get into it. This will be fun. All right, we're starting right off the bat. O A B I, check it out. Now, these are on the daily charts. And as you can see right now, is it one of the best stocks to buy now or not? Uh, it's been bullish. You can see right here is where the 13 cross, and you knew that was going to be big. And it was. Now, the problem right here, what do you see? RSI is way, 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 way too high. Uh, we dropped back down to 68, which was a good day for this to relieve some of that pressure. Uh, but I wouldn't feel good until we're in the 50s again. This is bullish, just to tell you. That relief of pressure was good, but you might see one or two more days of that, and then you might be able to run back up. So bullish, but overbought in the short term. Nice looking stock, though. All right, what's the next one? A-E-H-R, A-E-H-R. There we go, we're in it. Looking at the daily candles, folks, this is bearish way off the bat. You can see five crossing over 13 confirmed uh, on this candle. We continue down and the RSI has confirmed. So ugliness there. It is bearish at this particular moment in time. Tesla, it says y'all better get into Tesla. Let's take a look. Tesla is, and I'm in Tesla stock, is officially bearish. Oh, here's where we should short Tesla. Five just crossed the 13 or the 50 and the 13 is coming down, folks. That is ugliness. That is not good. That is not pretty. This is actually the perfect setup for put options. Oh, I hate to see that. I got Tesla stock. I don't like losing money, but using my technical Z, that's what I see right now. And unfortunately, we got to play the charts, which I'm going to do. Oh, that's not good. All right, SoFi. Let's take a look at SoFi. I do got some SoFi stock. Uh, SoFi still bullish, but no, 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 not really. It crossed. We had the five confirm right here. It is sideways since then, since the five and the 13 confirmed. The RSI has confirmed. This is now officially bearish, folks. Boy, it gave up a ton of gains, too. So there you go with that one. We got to keep an eye on all this. But uh, if the five gets down below the, the 50 and the 13 does, too, expect a sell off. Expect a sell-off if that does happen. Hate to give you all these warnings, folks, but that's I'm just telling you what the charts are telling us. How about Mara? How's Mara? 
your favorite mining stock out there. Boy, that's nice. Now, this is a nice looking chart. Uh, the RSI is nicely at 50, uh, 61, which is okay. The EMAs are nice. We got a little bit of consolidation right here after that big push up. So yeah, we're looking good. Morrow looks good, folks. That's how I feel about Morrow. And then we move down. URA, this is an interesting one. Uh, uranium mining stocks. Boy, look at all the lines I got. Oh, I got the fibs there. Uh, let's get rid of those. All right, take a look at what we got here. Crossing back over the 50. We got, we dip down. We're filling this gap right here. And we're moving back above the 50 on EMAs, which is good. This has been a long-term bull run. Uh, and now we got below and now we're back above. So this could actually run. So I would say I'd be bullish on this one. I like that. Is it one of the best stocks to buy now? I don't know, but I'll tell you this, it does look good for now. How about Pfizer? You guys got Pfizer on your list of stocks you're wondering. It has confirmed on the RSI. The EMAs have confirmed and now we're testing that 50. Here's the, the, here's the deal. I'm gonna tell you the deal on this. You are closing in on a huge move for Pfizer either good or bad i can't i can't tell you the direction the 50 is the line in the sand in other words if this breaks the five breaks the 50 and the 13 breaks the 50 you are going to have a huge push up huge push up if it fails here you're going to retest these lows down at 26 11. we're all the way up to 29 40. this if we can't we if we can't break the 50 EMA with the five and the 13, and they are all closing in on each other, you are gonna retest down there in the 26s. And that, my friend, is not a good thing. So at this particular moment, if you said, Mo, what do you think? Well, let's take a look a little bit more. Let's dig a little bit deeper. What do you notice? This is a huge bear, huge bear, huge bear. Wow, huge bear. So, and this is still a bear. Wow, wow, wow. So it's been a huge bear for a while. It's been getting oversold, oversold, oversold. Did we finally hit the bottom for Pfizer or does it have more room to run down? I don't know, but we're there. The last time we hit the 50, it did collapse down. So that makes me a little nervous. So we are in a bear run with this. And even though the technicals are flipping using the bread recipe, the one thing I do know is the 50 is a major point of contention. We have to see if we can break that. I'll keep my eyes on this one because whatever happens, it's gonna be a big move. If they do get above there and can confirm, this should be able to run into the 30s, and I mean pretty good and quickly. Uh, if it fails, it's gonna collapse down and you're gonna see it back down in the mid 20s. Nice, interesting stock there. Uh, TSLY, can you do uh, with the dividend perk and possibly selling covered costs? Yeah, I did a whole video on this and why I don't like this. I've already just owned the shares outright if you compare your gains uh, to this and the losses over time. Uh, you can check out that video, search my channel, you'll find it. Uh, anyways, here you go. It's going to look like this. This is very bearish at this particular moment in time. Extremely bearish, extremely bearish. Everything about this is bearish. Tested the 50 and failed, down it went. Five crossing 13, down it went. RSI confirmed down, down it went. This is ugly. And yeah, it does look even, it could get uglier, just to tell you guys. All right, 10 of the last job reports have been revised lower. Yep, I know, you can tell me. UTSL, UTSL, is it one of the best stocks to buy now? Well, this one looks a lot nicer. Utilities Bull, I love this stock. <laughs> it's so funny you brought this up. I love this stock. Uh, this is triple leverage utilities, and right now I think they're, they're gonna get their moment in the sun uh, in 2024. Right now, as you can see, it's moving nicely higher. Uh, it is finally confirmed. It bounced off the 50. It looks good. Yeah, that one looks good. UTL, UTSL, I like this one. I don't tell you what to buy and sell, but I'm telling you this, I'm looking at buying this one myself. I have it in my notebook. Uh, so there you go, folks. That's a great one. Mo, could you please share your triple leverage list? I just gave you one. I'm 17, have over 200 shares of TMF long and a bunch of other stuff. Also learning how to trade. Uh, yeah, I'll give you one that I'm looking at. Man, let's go, uh, which one? Let's take let's take a look at here's a tech one. Here's a tech one I've been watching. All right, this one, as you can see, way overbought. Got up here, overbought, went sideways, collapsed down. That RSI just needed dip. It did dip too much. Now we're back above on the 50. Barely we're at 51, but we're above it. And the EMAs are starting to get up to a point where they could cross. So I'm watching this one right now. 
if this crosses and we see that five cross at 13, I absolutely expect to get back up to 11.53, and that's that's a good that's a good chunk of change here, about you know 10%. So we're trying to get up 10% on this one. So that's what I'm looking at. If it fails uh, and gets below 9.74, I would be a seller of this one and get out. If it basically gets below the 50 again, I expect that the the bloodbath for all the market has begun. We are really close to trying to figure it out. If this can hold and we see a little bit of green, expect the market to continue to do well. I, I didn't think the market would crash until close to March. Uh, and so here's what we're watching. I'm still waiting for this rebound because I think we are going to rebound. We dip below the 50 and we move back up. That's your typical thing. You got a nice little cup pattern going here and that means we should be able to see it run. I don't know. We'll wait and see. But yeah, I, I like that. All right, next, uh, what do we got on there? I love these videos. Boeing, how about Boeing? Loose bolts and everything else I'm reading about, whatever that was. You can see it took the hit on it. Uh, right here, it is officially bearish right here. Down it goes. Uh, and then, of course, we're on the Bollinger Band, which is horrible. This is dipped down. Very, very bearish, folks. Very bearish. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how much it affects everything, but that, my friends, is not good. And this thing had a good run. Uh, so don't think it can't drop. It was way overbought to begin with, but now, wow, it's just dropping like a rock. Oof, that's ugly. Macy, Macy, Macy's. Let's go to Macy's. So Macy's, they'll do this one. What do you think about Macy's, Mo? Bullish on the RSI, had to come down. The EMAs are intertwined, but the five just crossed the 13, which is a bearish thing. Uh, overall, though, with the RSI still above 50, I'd still be bullish on this one. This is... One that I would uh, watch, but you don't know. Now, that's my update for this. I got to tell you stuff. We got the bread recipe crushing it right now. If you want to come over and join us, I highly recommend it. We got good things going on at the course. Take advantage of code CASH, C-A-S-H, today. And then come on over and watch the live stream today. We'll do that at 1.15 Eastern time on this channel. And that's going to be fun. We, we crushed it again yesterday. It was wild, but we did crush it. Join the Stock Mo course down below, or the uh, Patreon as well, and the Stock Squad Patreon. I do appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.